Hello everybody, my name's Tyler, and welcome back to another episode of Lisa the Painful. Now, I'm becoming incredibly sick. You can hear my voice is starting to go as we speak. Let's see what we can do. Now, I know we were fighting the super great hairdo guys at that bar, but uh, I was trying to go back here to the train, in which I found a new dude called the Beastborn. Who figured he could replace Terry for now. And, uh, I was gonna train over here, but it turned out that they are actually a little too strong for those guys in the cave anymore. Now, I was gonna head back, hopefully with Beastborn, I was gonna kick some ass, but... I found this hole, and I wanted to see what's at the other end of this hole. And we have... Kids! Lots of kids. Tommy, don't play with matches. How do you even get those, sport? Give them to... Oh, shit. What do you want? I'm looking for a child who's in my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you... Uh oh Tommy. Haha. -ha. Now look what you did. It's okay, Spore. We'll get that put up. Hey, can you hand me that bucket of water? Dude, can you hand me that bucket of water? Look, I try to get past him. Just a heads up. You got the bucket. <laughs> you fool! Not that bucket. That was my gasoline bucket. I tried to get past him. That bucket. Get that bucket of water quick. I'm trying to get past you, motherfucker, but... You're the one who's like, oh, you that bucket, please. Get that bucket. You can hear the fire stopped. That's awkward. Hello. Hmm. You are too late. This is the second most tragic thing that happened in my life. Well, nice knowing you, buddy. <laughs> so apparently they just wanted to give me... Oh, yeah, there's nothing up here. Wanted to give me the option to burn a bunch of children, I guess. Thanks, game. Glad to, uh, accommodate you. Let's see, was it number four? No, it's not number four. Uh, th no, no, three. Uh, hmm. Which one was it? Was it this one? No. It's a punk, come on. Let's do number four. Probably fight one of those tentacle good, kind of cool dudes on our way. You know, show you how much experience I was getting, because, ooh, it was very nice. WWW. Pow, pow, pow. And it died just like that. No problems, no questions asked. And all that experience, ooh. I'd have to fight like 50 of them to get anything out of it. Money is nice, though. Let's see, is this... I don't know. No, this is not even the right way. Son of a gun. What? Well, I'm trying to remember. Number two, maybe? Ooh, you're so tough. You're so scary. Shadowy figure. What are you gonna do to me? Oh! an arrow, and it's gone. Okay, Brad, you're brooding. Man, whoever that dude is, they're rich. Man, how do I get a feeling on this one? Ah, yeah, because it is this one. I know, I could totally just cut it through and be like, Oh, Tyler, why don't you just go back to the guy? That way we don't have to watch you in your sick tricks and goof up. Because editing is too hard. Tyler doesn't know how to edit. Yeah, Tyler can't edit at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, screw these Barrel Brothers. They're so tough. I thought the Shaddy figures actually had a little spunk to them, but... I guess no one does here. Damn, they go down just as quickly and... Respawn. Uh, I'm gonna go that way, but I already messed with that crap. As you can see, I killed a bunch of them already. Last episode, I tried ignoring them. But, they're such a bloody pushover, just kill them. They're so darn slow, they don't have time to use their gun, and they have slow or low HP, so it's just like, pow, poo, poo, poo. Unfortunately, they're also very poor. And apparently that didn't count as me beating the shit out of them. This poor guy's still sick. Just like me! Alright. Let's see. That's right, we had the guy here. Kicked us in the nuts, and he was like, oh, I'm so cool. And then Brad went back and kicked him in the nuts and just killed him one shot. Oh gosh. That room. Oh gosh! That would have been, uh... I mean, I just saved right there, so it wouldn't have been that bad, but, you know, whatever. Am I good on health? Yeah, pretty good. A little bit on Nern, but I think we'll manage. Well, I mean, we'll find out if we can handle him. Alright, let's save. Yeah, I never got to talk to everybody down here. This place is paradise. I won't budge. Really, even on this side. Remember, too much of a good thing is wonderful. He's lost in his own world. I can only be brought with magic pancakes. You know, thinking about it, I never bothered to look up uh, these bad guys here. Let's see. Ah. So, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty fine. Thank you for asking. Let's see. My name is Tyler. I was born on February 25th, 1991, and I can't beat a guy that has lots of hair. The hair is so powerful that I'm being forced to look at it. Let's see. Let's see, what is this? Is this... Hair Club, Plumbo's Gang. I don't know if that'll help me. But we can get in the position to find out while it loads. Good old being in... I should have checked it up before then, but I totally forgot about it. Oh, hello! Oh, jeez. Let's see. Well, you know, fuck it. Let's just find out, huh? Screw all your shit. You're gonna be so nice and help me out, and then you realize I'm bald. Yeah, they're not. No. All right, let's let's fight them this time. No, we're gonna leave the hair alone. The hair is something else. Oh, I went withdrawal right there during the conversation. That's nice. Okay, we'll play this game. Oh, this is music. Let's see. Let's see, and... No, we're gonna go for powers here. Finger beam. We're gonna leave the hair alone. Maybe if we leave the hair alone, the hair will be less alone. That went excellent. But of course, we have this motherfucker just went to withdraw. What the hell? No. Fuck it, let's just get out of here. I, given the ability to escape. Huh. Huh. Hmm. I couldn't do shit to him. 
they just smoke me so fast and uh, technically he's like the boss of this area that is area one I am uh, some money missing oh well not biggie I'm gonna stop recording for now uh, it's not gonna be the end of the episode ob uh, obviously I'm just gonna look up a bunch of shit that way I can come a little bit more prepared I just didn't expect him to Kick ass is hard, so I'll see you in just a second. Now, I uh, totally re just remembered that uh, when fighting this guy, that uh, they said that hair is weak to uh, fire. So what we need to do is burn the fuck out of it. And quite frankly, I'm ready to do that. Fireball, baby. Oh, they lost the hair. They're weak. Okay, okay. Uh, items? Fancy perfume? Really? Do, I, do I really want to waste it in here? What does the tissue do? Huh. Uh, bring him back up. Uh. Fuck. I'm just excited I was able to beat his hair. That was ridiculous. Used all my fire bombs for it, but you know, whatever. Well, that doesn't hurt nearly as much. I'll take that. Plus, the fact that I don't have to deal with uh, Brad being on uh, withdrawal. This is great. Fuck. Let's see. Paralyzing whip. Have you. Yeah, let's use your powers, finger beam them. Just finger them with the beam. Yeah, oh gosh. Oops. And they're not weak to fire, so let's just beat the shit out of them. You're asking for. Oh, jeez. Oh gosh, they lost their age. That's awkward. Let's see, fight. Uh -huh. And we're gonna keep trying to paralyze them. Yeah, these fuckers are bald. They were talking shit about me. You better check your hair, cause it ain't there, son. Keep paralyzing, baby. Paralyze all day, every day. Let's see. Rapid arrow. All right, let's do this. I'm not sure. I doubt there's gonna be a finishing touch, but you know, as long as we do some damage. Oh yeah. Those crits. Oh, the hair manity. Oh, ho, ho, you near hair jokes. You were so punny. Oh, that was a boss thing, my boober. Nice. Savor the flavor. Uh? Oh, you can throw a deer. Congrats. Drinks on me. Any liquor? Nope. Just four mags. Cheap ass. That's cool. What are you looking up for? Oh. Just realized there's a picture of a bot on the wall, and he's just looking right into it. Jeez, a Pete's. Okay, so I beat the boss. Oh, there's a little gang thing right there. I didn't realize that. Huh. I mean, it is a bar, so that makes sense. It's just... <laughs> Those guys are still trying to get in. Dumbasses. Probably should save, just in case I wake up and I get a little note saying, Hey, your dude got kidnapped. Oh shit. Oh shit. Son of a bitch. I was just kidding. I didn't realize I would have my guy kidnapped. I mean, I knew it could happen, but... Oh boy. Well, shit. What do we do if uh, the motherfucker gets kidnapped? Let's see. Lisa... Kid... Oh, Arlington, Texas. Jeez. Let's see. Must pay up. Red. Let's see. Who, who do they choose to kill? 
or a take. Oh, they took Beast Man? But he was cool. Man, if it was fucking Terry, I'd understand, but they left Terry. They didn't want it for whatever reason. Let's see. Blue Rockets. Let's see. Aurora Town? Where the hell is Aurora Town? Well, either way, I need... I need, a uh, hundred mags, so... Well, I guess we can't continue until we get the, uh... Get that money back. And... Well, I'm... If I didn't save right there, that would've been very bad. Got a note to self. Always save before you go to the damn campsite, so you don't have to do this shit in the first place. Fuck, I don't want Terry back in my team. Let's see, apparently, I... They're in Aurora Town. What the, what the fuck place is Aurora Town? Oh, it's the apparently the very first door. Okay. Fuck, I'm making that. Yeah, he totally landed that cheese. Why was I worried? Alright. Is there really still a barrel dude alive? I thought, oh, I thought I killed all you bastards. That's because I must have kept jumping right over you. Alright. Gotta beat the shit out of you and get some money. Even though you guys are filthy poor. One magazine. See, I need a hundred. I'm a 76 short. Yeah, that guy gave me nothing for money. Nice boss, huh? Thanks. Let's see, so... It's just the chances of the one time I've been using all these camps and I had a kidnap... Kid... And somebody take my dude and it was right after I got rid of Terry. If they had Terry, we'd just keep going, because, you know, fuck them. But, uh, gotta go through here and fight these guys ten times and make them sound so serious. Oh, gosh, I'm such an evil figure. Come on. Hook me up. I didn't waste my perfect perfume shit on him for nothing. Diet Coca-Cola. Or Coca-Cola. Uh, whatever the fuck they want to call it. But please don't sue me, we're gonna call it this. Come on. And so, I found... I found Beastman after we went through one of the caves that we went through earlier, and we couldn't reach a spot because of, uh, we needed the bicycle. I was just exploring, trying to find some dudes to beat the shit out of, like right now. And, uh, I really couldn't find anything, so... But, I found a little spot to hop over. And, uh, found him, and he was a tough fight, but kicked his butt, and I think he's going to be a bit more useful. I mean, Terry can heal. That is his one blessing, but he can't even heal that good. Quite honestly, just, if I can find a shop and buy a bunch of potions, you know, or their equivalent, I just think, uh, that would be a lot easier. Plus, to have somebody that actually does damage, that'd be nice. Oh, that'd be really nice. Alright, come on, we need to get Terry, or not Terry back, fuck, fucking Terry. That's terrible. <laughs> Sorry to make jokes like that, it's terrifying. Come on, come on, come on. I'm sure it was like an auto feature here, just run around and keep shooting somebody. And pop. I'm glad these guys have lots of money. Is it just... Oh. Ooh, Fireball 2. Oh, that would have been nice. But, I guess since I blew all those fire bombs earlier that... No clue. Let's see. I haven't been paying attention in the slightest of how much money I need. Uh, it's only been a minute or so, though. Man. 10 max. Oh, jeez. 
94. All right, one more. One more, and I'll fork over the dough. It's for kidnapping my dude. And really, 100 mags? You'd think that they'd be a bit un more unreasonable. I shouldn't complain. Only 100. It's like, oh man, I'd spend 20 minutes fighting monsters in the dark? It's the way those things were flashing. Actually, it looked like it was kind of like a person doing like this. Alright, so I guess he's there in the first area. They're called the Blue Rockets. And go figure, they're gonna have a room over here with a blue rocket painted over it. Oof. Oh, hopefully I don't have to fight him now. And... These guys, the blue rockets. Hi! Whoa, Bossy actually came. He looks mad. Shut up. Keep that knife on him. Stick to the plan. Hey, cue ball. You want your boy back in the costume? 100 dirty mags. Or your pal gets the knife. How about it? Okay, I'm fine. Really? That was easy. You give him 100 mags. Talk about a game of sacrifice. Scram, boys. Ah. I'm assuming that means thank you for saving my life because I apparently get stolen in the... Of all the people that does get stolen, you'd think he would be the noisiest and problematic. But, what do I know? I kind of want to fight this guy. He kicked my ass before, but I think I got a chance now. But, I'll see, right there, up there is where uh, I got Beast... Whatever the fuck his name is. Beastborn. Beastborn. Beastborn was born among uh, a wild beast group of squirrels. <sighs> Alright. Let's get back over to... Uh, not this way. Must be the third one. Oh, okay. Get back over to the factory and then continue. You know... This whole area could have probably been cut out. Like right now, the last thing that you guys saw in the last episode was like, oh, he's gonna fight the final boss of the area. And 22 minutes later, he still hasn't gotten past that. It's like, well, there's a good reason for that, because fuck me. Is that a barrel? Where the fuck are the. Is the barrels just part of the music or something? There are no barrel brothers. Except for him. And he's not doing it for a very good reason. Alright. Ooh. I didn't want to take any chances there. I actually go too far off. And then I go all the way back. And then you guys get to watch it because I refuse to edit these videos for some damn reason. Party! Pop a wheel in your life. That poor guy. No, that poor guy. He kicked me in the nuts. So I kicked him back in the nuts. Ah, from now Testicle for a testicle. I am gonna... S you know, I'm pretty good on everything. Fuck it, I'm not gonna rest there. Shit's not safe enough, yo. Oh, gosh. You just get the dr... Yep, yeah, withdraw. Good job, Brad. It's a moral thing. I refuse to... I just don't understand why he wants to keep sniffing that butt. Ooh. What the fuck? Please. I don't want to do this. Look at me. I'm not a woman at all. I have a mustache. I'm just a truck driver. My truck is still by the bridge. I'm the one that, the one the girl escaped on. In the back of my truck, I have the tools to fix the bridge. Huh? Save me. I can. Re we can repair it together. What? No. No. I was just kidding. I meant to save him. Really? Okay. Alright. Alright. So, instead of going all the way fucking back here, I thought it was a way to continue. I should have realized that there was, you know, it's supposed to be... I really just glitch? I really just glitch? It won't let me up. 
Well, this has just been a whole productive game. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it took uh, 24 minutes to get through this shit. I'm going to cut it. Oh, I'm not going to cut everything up. Next time you watch, I'll be over there by that truck by the bridge thing. Wherever the fuck that is. It's somewhere. Actually, it's probably over by the, the holes, and then we just keep going right. So, I will see you then. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleh. You guys have yourselves a good day. See ya.